Welcome to Let's Check Out the Adventures of Bayou Billy or Bio Bio. I don't know how you pronounce it. This is Ron Moore, and I've always heard about this game. I saw AVGN and Mike play it. I remember a long time ago. When well, this scrolling right here is annoying. Like, really? This, this, at least it scrolls fast instead of slow. But, yeah, I mean, I saw this like in my uh, Contra and Super Contra instruction manuals uh, where the little uh, little pamphlet comes with it and it shows other Konami games to play I saw Double Dribble and I saw this game and I never got to play it I saw the cover of it and it always reminded me of Crocodile Dundee and so yeah here we go my first time checking this out ever and so let's look at the demo screens right here and see what this game has to offer. So, right here kind of looks like maybe an Indiana Jones 8 bit version of. Well, wait, there is, a, there is Indiana Jones and NDS. I forgot. I never played those either. Maybe I should do it. Let's check out that. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I did see Mike and James play this, and they did not have a good first impression of it. But let's see if I will have a good first impression of this game. Can't tell anything from the music yet because they don't play music in the demo. I think from what I remember, oh, I guess that's the boss of this stage. Is that Karnov? I think from what I remember from Mike and James playing this, I think this is the controls are pretty awkward. If so, I'm definitely not going to enjoy this game. I don't think it'd be any worse than bad dudes, could it? Man, this, uh, CPU demo is getting pwned. Alright, back to the title screen here. Waiting to see if there's any more demo screens. Oh, now we're playing Gotcha for the NES. Oh, and boom goes the dynamite. This reminds me of a uh, Safari Hunt for uh, the Sega Master System. If you remember, Hang On and Safari Hunt, kind of like a, uh, I guess, it's to stay in competition against uh, Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt for the NES. That right there is kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of Contra and Safari Hunt or Contra and Gotcha. Alright, what's next? Oh, cool. Man, this, this game kind of looks cool so far. There's a variety of stages, different types of uh, gameplay. Kind of like, well, I was going to say like Daydream, Daydreaming Davey, but that, I don't know. I didn't get far in that game. I don't remember much of it. I think there's the parts where you play, you know, overhead view and then the part where you use your gun. This game kind of reminds me of Roll Blasters right here. Oh, pwned. Oh, pwned again, hit a rock. I guess that little line up there, you're the player, you're the pay, and then uh, grab the key, and then you gotta get to the flag. Alright, that's the end of that. So this game came out in 1989 by Konami. Well, if, if it's from Konami, it has to be good, right? Alright, I've already seen that, so let's go ahead and get started with the gameplay here. The Adventures of Fire B. Well, at least the voice sounds better than it does in Bad Dudes. Billy! I'm taking Annabelle away. Is that Dick Tracy kidnapping her? Or who's that? If you want her back, you will have to come to my estate. You will find that before reaching the estate, 
there will be many obstacles to overcome. <laughs> this music. Remind me of Double Dragon 2 right there a little bit. Alright, so this stage using controller. Well, duh. Okay, I think because the, the game has different uh, variety of gameplay or whatever. I guess maybe the next stage or so use your zapper. I don't know. So here we go. Stage 1. Jeez, come on, hit him. Yeah, I, I can tell the controls are uh, awkward already. This is not good so far. Oh, what? Fighting Billy and Jimmy Lee here. Or Bimmy and Jimmy. Jeez, come on. Hit detection. Music in the stage is not that bad. About time. There we go. This looks like they could be, this could be Swamp Thing for the NES. Is there, is there a Swamp Thing video game? I'm not sure. I have to look it up. Well, I died already. That's pretty pathetic. These controls really are not that good. Up there it says bullets. I need to find a gun. I need a whip, too. Where's my whip? It's that green part of the stage over there. I, I guess it's the grass. It looks like... The slime from Shadowgate that can kill you. Jeez, come on, man, really? I apologize for the laggage there. You'll see that in various parts of this video. Oh, there we go. There's more lives right there. Don't know how that happened, but that's pretty ECW. All right, come on, this is getting very repetitive here. I know lethal weapon is repetitive, but come on, at least it's just not like this. Okay, whoa, what the? What are those? Oh, jeez, Leatherhead now. Bro, how do you hit him? Oh, I can't get in the water. <laughs> Some reason, because that part, that's that part of the stage right there looks like Double Dragon. Now we got Ninja Gaiden Eagles coming after me now. I thought that one part of the stage with the water, I thought you can die if you jump in it. Looks like in Double Dragon too. All right, good. Can I pick up that rock? Who are these idiots? These pot belly guys. What the heck? Little pot belly crackheads over here. says these controls are awkward. Come on, enough already. Jeez. Oh, I got, oh, I got a stick. Good. Oh. Stick it to him. Oh, a knife. Ah, oh, man. Come on. Really? These controls are lame. There we go, got the stick again. Oh, should have just kicked the knife from my bare feet just like Skip Rogers did. Hey, quit dropping your stick. They say walk softly but carry a big stick. 
lost something in this game because you get pwned pretty quick. I gotta fight these crocodiles again. This should be Crocodile Dundee. How you freaking hit him? Really? Oh, pwned. Alright, continue here. I guess you get unlimited continues. She's gonna start over in the stage. Oh. in this game really is awkward. Broken, hit detection not that good. Yeah, so far not a good first impression. Glad, glad I didn't come across this game as a kid. Or something, but give me full energy again. Oh, that ninja god and eagles again. Probably have to pull the corn shack here and say, I apologize, my commentary is not, uh, not, not as frequent as there's not much doing this game, it's probably repetitive. It's pretty true, what else can you say about this game right here? If I can do this part again, I don't know if I get much farther than this. Wish I could pick up that rock, I think I can. Right there with the knife. Now pick up the knife. I forget. I, well, probably could use a knife against crocodiles. Come on, Paul Hogan. Damn it, really? Ah, oh, dang, can't get the knife. Man, it's cheap. I start this part again. Oh, that's how you hit him. There it is. Get the food. Yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah, it was close. I don't know, is it turkey or pork chop? It's like Simon's Quest or any Castlevania game pretty much. This is made by Konami. Oh, wow. I actually beat the crocodiles? Cool. Hey, it's, hey, it's a scuba diver. There's another one. Another one. Jeez. What? Oh, 
Why are you throwing at me? Oh, I can. I parried him. See that? Would that hit me or deflect off me? Oh, they're shooting at me. Come on. Ah, oh, man, they got that scoop adapter gear on. Of course, they got protection. Ah, that's it. Yeah, so not a good first impression of this game. Uh, yeah, in some ways this game is worse than Bad Dudes. At least it got a little further in that. The, the challenge for the stage one is ridiculous. It's the first level. It should be that hard. And I think it's hard because of the controls. Controls are pretty awkward. Yeah, too bad to get further in the game and show more of the different variety of stages. But oh well. Uh, if you want to see it that bad, it's on YouTube somewhere. So, yeah, so far I give this game like maybe a 3.5 or 4 out of 10. Pretty abysmal and, yeah, not ECW to say the least. Alright, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.